What's up, Telus? Tony here from RC Excitement. Just wanted to show you guys how to solder a Traxxas connector. Uh, we have the brand new Vanquish uh, Phoenix ready to run here, and customers looking for a Traxxas connector on it. So connectors come with two sets. We're gonna open up one of them. They are both male connectors. The male will go into the battery, and customer already has Traxxas batteries to it. So what I like to do is I like to insert the actual pins into the connector. And a really important thing is with Traxxas connectors, you're not supposed to get any solder beyond that line. If you get any solder beyond that line, it might not click in and hold in very nice. So I'll show you how to solder as best as we can. So I like to place it in the connector and I'm gonna tin everything first. So very first thing I'm gonna do is leave that there. We're gonna cut the connector off of the car itself just by two. And then we're gonna use our pair of strippers. Gotta love those. We're gonna strip probably about two to three millimeters of wire back. And then we twist every time that you twist wire out or that you cut wire. That way you'll have the strands all nice and tight together. You don't have any fraying like that where it's a straight wire. So nice and twisted. And then we're gonna tin those wires. Uh, today we're gonna be using Minitronic solder. We've used multiple solder before and it's definitely the best that we've found. So we'll unspool some of that so we have some leeway room. Clean off the iron, just little taps, and then wipe. Tinning wise, we're gonna start, whoa, she's not clean. Tinning wise, we're gonna start from the bottom wire wise, and then work our way up. That will suck all the solder down into the wire. Same thing on this one here. I'm making sure that there's no wire strands. So the wire strands, there's a nice little glob here. And if you ever have too much solder, say I were to add too much solder, you can just bang it off real quick. From here, we're gonna tin the connector itself too. Connector, because of the fact that you can't solder past that line, I like to be a little bit more cautious because the solder's gonna glob out once you connect the two. So just a little bit of solder towards the edge right there. Same thing on this side here. And then obviously we have to place it up here. What I like to also do is instead of just keeping it flat, I like to angle it slightly downward. So that way the solder doesn't drip in. So with this one, do the outside wire first, clean this here. And then wire sometimes gets hot. So we'll use some pliers. Grab the wire. And then because you've already done all the prep work and tinned, solder flows nice and easy onto there. And then the negative wire, make sure you correct it, make sure it's all nice and easy to hold for you. And all nice and clean wiring wise. Once that is soldered, we'll take our connector. and then we'll pop it out of the actual holder. And then I like to just use a little flathead. Once I use a flathead, push down and you'll hear that little click. So a little click, that little click there. And then we have a nice and tight wire, nice and held in connector. Positive to positive, red wire, negative to negative. That's how to solder a Traxxas connector to a RC car. Thanks fellas.